folks and families living with the impacts of ALS know it is a consistent battle that takes almost almost all of as, uh, facets of your life over. Yeah, no doubt. And there's a prominent Charlotte family that's keeping their father's memory alive despite that fight by supporting those that are going through the same fight. WCNC Charlotte's Michelle Bowden shows us the nonprofit that is seeking solutions and truly saving lives. An ALS diagnosis impacts the entire family and a family who dealt with this with their own loved one more than a decade ago is now trying to help others, trying to ease the burden for other families. I have a very uh, rare but lucky form of ALS that moves extremely slow. It may seem hard to imagine that Nikki McDonough calls herself lucky, but when it comes to ALS, the progressive disease that can often move very quickly, the 44 year old is grateful despite battling the daunting illness. It changed everything, everything. I went from an independent person who, uh, you know, had a career and a, a life, and it kind of took all of that away. I had to relearn things. I had to learn how to accept help. Some of that help has come from the Joe Martin Foundation. Based here in Charlotte, Martin was a beloved Bank of America executive who battled ALS for 12 years. After he died, his caretakers and family teamed up to start the foundation in his honor. This is what he wanted to happen and it's happening and every year it gets better. The foundation provides mental and physical health for people with ALS and their families, even providing important equipment and an aid, all for free. So this gives me more independence. I feel more on my own. Because she says the disease can be overwhelming. Every day something is getting worse and every day you have to learn to do something new to adjust to that. So you just have constant questions and anxiety about where your life's going to go, what's going to happen next. So it changes your whole outlook on life. Joe B. Martin knows that all too well. His dad was Joe Martin. Now he and the rest of the foundation are working to spread awareness, bringing a Broadway star, Aaron Lazar, who is also battling ALS, to Charlotte. This is really a gift back to the community to help people, to, to help the community be better at being a community because there's somebody around you who needs some hope. Like Nikki, who says in addition to sending an aid to help her and all kinds of equipment, hope is the thing she needed most. And that's what the foundation gave her. And they just kind of step in and help you take a deep breath and realize we can do this one thing at a time. And they send help. The organization has seen so much success, they're getting ready to expand to Greensboro and Winston-Salem. And if you want more information on the Joe Martin Foundation event that's coming up, check out our website, WCNC.com. Reporting in Charlotte, Michelle Bowden, WCNC Charlotte. Part of the goal of our Seeking Solutions segments is to shine a light on those who are making a difference and giving a voice to those who might often go unheard. So we wanted to ask you this, whose voices are we missing? If you know a group or individual who is trying to improve our community, we want to hear about them. You can send an email to newstips at wcnc.com or reach out to us on social media. Everybody's talking about.